Welcome back to Up The Villa Podcast. Transfer Hub, fired it up a little bit earlier because we're linked with a player. Aston Villa are linked with Mario Hermoso from Atletico Madrid. We've been linked with him in the summer. There was going to be a fee for that one, but now he's going on a free on June 30th. So I think Aston Villa are going to be all over it. Monchi's going to be all over it. So this rumour is coming from Marsa. The season is over and Mario Hermoso is still not renewing with Atletico. The central ends his link on June 30th, just five leagues. Years after his arrival at the Metropolitan, five years with great seasons and also potholes that point to a divorce in the coming months. We've got a little bit more here. In hence, in recent months, Hermoso's environment has moved to find him a new accommodation. Serie A and especially the Premier have been the favourite destinations for the financial muscle of the clubs. Among the English, the Aston Villa stands out. One of the teams with which it has been negotiated. So, really exciting one, a proper defender. You don't play for Atletico Madrid and Diego Simeone if you cannot defend. So, I'm all over this one. I think it would be a welcome addition into our back line. We know that Unai loves defenders. We know it. We know they're integral to getting his Aston Villa system ticking, motoring, moving, progressing. So, Again, we've seen the progression of Pau Torres. Hermoso, very, very good. A very, very good defender. Strong, strong airily. Wins his jewels, wins his ground jewels. Very technically aware and aware of his positioning. Senses danger very, very well. And just strong, but can pick a pass. He's another progressive passing central defender. A central defender who plays predominantly on that left-hand side, but can also play in as left-back, can play as a three, can play in a four. So, really versatile in what he could potentially offer. And we're already seeing this season that, yes, we've trolled a five against Spurs and it didn't work. We play with sort of sometimes a four, but the left goes forward and then we have a solid three. So, I really do think that the system's going to change and evolve in the summer and the defenders are crucial to having that control, that stability, the right profile of players, which can allow the attackers to flourish and just be aware in their positioning as well. So, Hermoso, I'm all over it. It's a free. But then, you know, just because it's a free doesn't mean that they are a bad player. You know, I think sometimes you can think, oh, he's not worth 40, 50 million. Like, he's not that good then, is he, if he's a free? They don't work like that. You know, look at the players that we've bought in on free con- contracts recently. Tielemans, Bubakar Kamara, very good players, very good players. But the value in those are in, in the signing on fees and in the wages. And, and the player has a bit more power that he can pick and choose where he wants to go to. But I imagine if Aston Villa get Champions League football... There's not going to be many players that look at Villa and think that's not the place for me. So Champions League football is crucial for Aston Villa then. So let's have a little look now then at his profile. We're on X value and we're going to be using this a lot more in the coming weeks as well. So we've got, he is 28 years of age, left-footed, central defender, Career highlights, Samoso is a Spanish professional who plays mainly as a central defender. He can also operate as a left-back. Before joining Cochaloneros, he has butchered it. He played for Real Madrid youth teams and Espanyol. In 2018, he made his senior debut for the national team. So as you can see here, he's played for Espanyol and he's also played for Atletico Madrid. Heat map, we can see it's been lit up on that left-hand side can get into those attacking areas as well when he's playing as the wing back, but also when he's playing as that central defender in the three with a five back, he can play in that sort of more of a central area as well. So let's have a look then at some of his stats and we'll have a look at his stats per 90 as well then. So we've got shots per 90, 0.66, and he's got quite a decent shot on him as well. He's got a good shot on him. He's scored goals in the past. His shot success ratio is at 26.7%, which is decent. We have got in build-up, we've got 1,000, well, he's had 1,441 attempted passes, 
per 90. That's at 63.8%. Pass success ratio is at 87.1%. We've got cross success ratio at 20%, which is quite high. Now, this is where we're getting into duels, and this is where he's coming into his own. 8.5 duels per 90. 57.8% of those duels are being won. Attempted dribbles, 0.66. Successful dribbles, 66.7%, which is high. Aerial duels, 3.01 per 90. And success of those duels is at 63.2. We could do with a bit of that defending set pieces. That's what we can do with. Defence and discipline, we've got 1.68 tackles per 90, 1.06 interceptions per 90, seven yellow cards, he's won 21 fouls and he's gave away uh, 24 fouls. If we have a look at some more of his advanced stats then, where we can go into a little bit more detail. Don't really think we need to see the shots because he's not really got many shots off, has he? So if we have a look at 1-2's closed, it's 0.22. Jules, defensive arrow 63, and then we've got offensive arrow 69.24. This stat is something that I really like the look of. Expected threat passes with defenders in La Liga is currently sitting in 10th place. But if we have a look at this one, progressive passes is sitting fourth place in La Liga for defenders, which is very, very good, very high. And we know that our system is being built around progressive passes moving the ball forward, and I'm, I'm all for it. So a very, very good player, and a player that I think would improve our Aston Villa back line. Maybe someone will move along, but Hermoso, I think, would be a really good player. Now, something else to talk about is, I mean, I'm, I'm staggered by the numbers in this. Batano, Aston Villa have signed a two-year deal with front-of-shirt sponsor Batano, so it's a betting company, you know. It's frustrating. It's it, we don't we don't want it, do we? You know, we want to see better. You know, we want to see a real good brand, like a cool brand in there that's just cool. You know, looks good. Samsung or you know those brands that look decent. Batano, another betting company, frustrating. But the numbers involved in this. 40 million over two years, 20 million pound a year. And that is oh, nearly double of what BK8 was. I think BK8 was around 8 million a year. And now Batano is at 20 million pound a year. So for Villa, financially, it's absolutely huge. I think I saw the chart and we're just below Newcastle now with our front of shirt sponsor. So the money involved in this deal is absolutely staggering and it's very, very good for Aston Villa. I think it's really good for Villa. Financially, we saw how much money we lost. We've got Adidas coming as well. So this deal is fantastic for Villa. Absolutely brilliant. And hopefully it's going to allow us to, for FFP and everything that we bring in, PSR rubbish, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay moving forward. And those stars are not going to be leaving Aston Villa. So in other news, international duty, it was mixed bag, mixed bag for the Villa boys. We'd got a positive game for Morgan Rogers, played well, set up Harvey Elliott, nice little turn, cut back, played really well. Ezri Consa. Vinny Jr. still in his back pocket. Consa was absolutely brilliant for England. And it was just like, I went on social media after the game and it was, Consa was brilliant. Consa was great. How good's Consa? Water's wet, mate. Water's wet. We've been watching him for years. He's so good. Wake up, smell the coffee. Ezri Consa is an elite Central defender, whether he's playing right back, centre back, he should be playing for England. He was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. His passing was great. He looked calm, he looked composed. And I'm so proud for him to be playing for England because 
seeing his growth of coming from the Championship to the Premier League to surviving to playing in Europe to now putting on that England shirt. Fair play, concert because that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We've got Ollie Watkins leading the line for England. Played well, nice touches, but same old with England. No service. I mean, the service to Watkins was just dire, wasn't it? It was There was no service whatsoever to him and felt sorry for him a little bit, really. Just up there on his own, nothing to feed off, feeding off scraps, so... But his performance was okay. We've got Matty Cash came off injured. Looks like he's done his hamstring. So that was a bit of a blow. McGinn lost 4-0 against Netherlands. So that was not, not a great day at the office for Scotland. Uh, anyone else? Belgium. I can't really remember the Belgium score. Uh, but yeah, so mixed bag. But but all right. All right performances. But Kansa, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. So... Yeah, just thought I'd just bring you a bit of the Hermoso one because I think I know some of you probably will want me to do that episode anyway because I know I know a lot of you like transfer hubs. So yeah, so we've you know we've had a good little international break here on the pod. We've had a uh, Craig Butler that episode smashed it, man. It smashed it. Uh, so yeah, and um, yeah, we'll start our content in the week for Wolves. Um, so really looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to the running. So let me know your thoughts up the villa.